Today we're going to talk about pet supplies and pet food for just a dollar. We're going to start off with ceramic dog food and watering bowls. Again, bottled water for your pets, children, and yourself. One thing I do to lower my veterinarian bill is I make sure that the bowls are always clean. Water bowls especially need to be cleaned every day, especially in warm climates. They grow algae. If it's in a dark climate, it's going to have sediment in the bottom of this, especially if you're feeding dry dog food. So you really need to clean these every day. I found cat food. This is a generous size. That's only a dollar. Um, canned cat food, usually you can find this almost anywhere for a dollar if you look. Once in a while, we'll talk about treats. Um, for human treats, you really don't want to feed people food to a dog or cat. I do on occasion, I will give cats tuna fish, the same kind that I eat that's already drained, low sodium. And once in a while, I will give my dog some carrots. He's not allergic to it, so carrots are healthy. Dog treats, I prefer to use the dry kind and as well as dry dog food. Once in a while, I'll use a moist, semi-moist dog food. It's a little bit easier to digest. But the problem with the wet dog foods is if you ever smell the dog's breath, that's usually where it's coming from. And then they have a lot of tartar and stain. There's two kinds of bird seed. This is for little birds, and this is for bigger birds, medium and small. There's larger pieces in here, so everybody gets a little of something. The pigeons like to eat this too, if you feed pigeons. If you have fish or like fish, there's a small um, tank that you can get. Again, you're gonna fill that with bottled water, and then there's gravel and accessories and a net and fish food. So when we come back, we're going to clear all this off and talk about more stuff that I got for just a dollar. We're back. These are the additional items I found for just a dollar. If you walk your dog at nighttime, there's two things that will come in handy. One, a reflective vest. Number two, this LED light. They're good for big or small dogs. They connect to the collar and it comes with the batteries in it as well. Rule number one. If you don't have a pocket big enough for two bottles, you're going without because the pets are always running after something. They are the ones who get the water first. I found this pack of waste receptacle bags. This is quite generous. It's four of these rolls per pack. Also, here's a smaller bag. This only has 35 in it. Training pads. These are good, especially if you have a young puppy. If you have an older dog that you want to house train, no problem. They have a scent similar to the, one of these products that you can spray. It's the opposite of this. This one will clean the smell. The one that you spray on here will attract your dog to the pads so that you can train them. You may have seen these at dog parks before. I prefer not to use one of these. Occasionally, um, you'll see a disabled person or an older person using these. When you do, be a little more human and offer to wash it off for them. Obviously, they can't bend over to pick it up. I would not want something that's used like this in my garage or my house. It would smell terrible. So when I do see that, I'll offer to wash it off for them. You can find all kinds of dog and cat shampoos for a dollar. Personally, I prefer just to use a garden hose or the shower even. I always test the water to make sure it's not too hot or too cold. One thing you want to do is give them their own towel, but before you want to rub your own scent on it, like on your hair or your clothes or something, they will smell this and know it's a part of you. They'll be really excited when you dry them off. You'll see the tail wagging a thousand miles an hour. That just about concludes everything. Remember, always be safe when you're walking your dog.